But I'm going to set up a little temporary shelter just between these two trees here. Uh, I have a ground sheet too, so I'm going to put up the tarp, put a ground sheet there, so Duncan's got somewhere to lie down if he wants to. And uh, yeah, perfect. I'm going to make a little fire on top of the snow. It's not going to go so deep that it's going to hit the roots, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm not going to be here long enough for it to burn through to the roots. So all I'm going to do now is make a good platform to sit on. I'm going to stamp all this snow down with my snowshoes. Excavate the area a little bit. Can help too, Dunks? Can help me too? Come on, stamp, stamp, stamp. Stab, 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 stab. <laughs> stab, 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 stab. Go, 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 go. That should be good. That should be good. Cool. Get this shelter up. Now, I know when I was traveling back there, the wind is coming this way mainly. So I'm going to set the tent, the ship, the back of the shelter up facing this way. Likes to be a, he likes to be a beaver sometimes. Boy. So as you can see, this uh, pine tree is nice and dead. I'm going to use some of these branches here. Let's peg her out.
Working in snowshoes is a clumsy thing. Okay. There you go. That's my shelter done. So I chuck a ground sheet under that, and we're golden. Yeah. So. Well, then I let this burn down. I've just chucked a load of small twigs on there to get it burning a bit quicker and to get the bigger, the bigger stuff burnt down to white ash. I figure let's talk about yesterday. Uh, about getting my vehicle stuck. Uh, and that could have been a bad situation right there. I was in the middle of nowhere. I had no signal. Uh, you got to know your, your vehicle's limits. You got to know your limits. Um, I was that only happened to me there because I. Went slightly off the track and uh, hit an icy patch and my back wheel went in into the rut. Um, but it could have been worse. My vehicle could have turned, could have turned over. Um, I could have said, sod it, I'm going to keep going up this trail. And then got seriously stuck up the other end. And I'd still be there today trying to dig myself out because I'm stubborn. Um, <laughs> I, ha I have roadside coverage, but uh, due to my ex-military days and uh, what job I used to do, it's still ingrained in me. It's embarrassing to get to have to call out a tow truck. So I'd rather dig myself out than <laughs> than uh, call in a tow truck. So yeah. So anyway, yeah, that definitely could have been a, uh, an interesting situation right there. Um, know your limits. Know your vehicle's limits. At the end of the day, it was getting towards the end of the day, um, four o'clock, like I said earlier, and. 5.30's sundown, so what am I going to do? Yeah. I'm going to go find a new spot and then hike out to try and find a campsite area in the middle of the dark, in the middle of the night um, with Duncan running, up, running off leash or hanging off my, off my hip and uh, potentially hurt myself, he could potentially hurt himself um, i got to find parking for the vehicle, it's just a, a number a, 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 big list of things that's just not worth doing um, just for the sake of a camping trip and to get a few videos uh, that's how people get into serious situations uh, when they don't know the limits or they ignore them and they think they can go on and on and they, they don't stop and think okay this could be a dangerous situation so that's just something to keep in mind um, when you, you, you go out there if you find yourself in that sort of situation where things could be bad, but they're not that bad, fix it, get out of there, uh, get home to sit to, to go camping another day and enjoy the woods another day. So that's just as my fire burns down, I figured it's let's have a chat about that. Yeah, so this is beautiful. Can't can't fire. Still it's still snowing at the moment. So. Yeah, if ever you have any ever any questions for me, please don't hesitate to email me. I'm all, I'm all ears. Uh, I'm still learning too. Don't forget. And uh, I like a good debate, but I do find on a lot of the bushcraft and um, survival forums, and a lot of dick swinging goes on. Especially if you say, "Oh, what knife do I need? What knife should I get?" Oh, and everyone comes on and pipes up, and then there's 
debates going on, arguments going on about which nice the best, which nice this. You know what? Look at somebody's kit, think to yourself, would that work for me? And then try it, try it out. If somebody's got a piece of kit and you want to try it, ask them. Try that, can I try your knife? Can I try your axe? Cool, try it out. See what you enjoy, see what, you, what feels good with you. Because what feels good with you might not feel good for me in my hands when I'm using it, uh, such as such. Uh, hence, hence uh, go back to uh, talking about knife grinds. I love my convex knife grinds because they're just solid. Um, and that's my opinion. Somebody else might come back and say, oh, but, but I like my Scandi grinds. Uh, well, that's cool, that's cool. That's what makes us all individuals in this world. Um, you go down to Africa, for instance, some of the tribes down there, a lot of people up here would scoff over some of their knives and some of their machetes out of, out of soft, very soft steel. They have to keep sharpening them. Things like that. So it's just like in this in this day and age and in, in, in this subject, there are so many ways to skin a cat. It's ridiculous. So just hey, work out what works well for you, and practice those skills. You know. And that's all I'm really going to say on that. Really. So <laughs> yeah. yeah it's just awesome. Yeah, as you can see, I've been cranking up the video. It's got lot, lots done lately, which is nice. Lots of subjects uh, done. F please give me feedback. Um, if you have any negatives to tell me, don't just put a thumb down on my YouTube account. Don't just do that. Actually, tell me why. Tell me why. Email me. Uh, say, hey, Nick, I'm not quite happy with this video. It's not very good. Um, you're wrong in this such and such. I'm still learning, so I'd love to hear from you. And... Uh, Learn new stuff, because well, that's that's what I'm doing it for, is to educate people and to be safe and to respect the wilderness that we live in. So, yeah, don't hesitate to email me. Um, what else do I want to say? Um, reference my Patreon account. I have a Patreon account on the go. Um, I have rewards. Um, if you donate $5 a month to me uh, to help out with my channel, help out with me being able to get out here, pay for my gas to get out to do this stuff and entertain you guys. Uh, I'm going to try and make it a bit more entertaining from now on. Uh, yeah, that's uh, for $5 a month. That's what you get. You get uh, you get to suggest what subjects I do. Uh, I'm basically at your mercy. Um, for $10 a month, you'll get one of these cool patches. Not the German one, but the, uh, the Raw Skills Bushcraft patch. That's month one. That's when you subscribe for $10 a month. After that, then, I will send you one piece of survival gear that I, I will have tried and tested. I'm not just going to send you any piece of crap. I'm going to send you a piece of survival gear that's actually decent and will work if you need it to and when you need it to. That's one piece each month, every month that you, you are subscribed to me, uh, to my Patreon account. So I think that's pretty good. Um, if anybody has any suggestions, please email me. I'm learning. Um, I'm new to this, as you can tell by my videos. Um, I'm gradually working out what I can do with the computer and how I can do it. So, <laughs> so yeah, hopefully I'm going to get up there up to the uh, top level guys on YouTube and get to the quality of their videos uh, eventually. Um, and just keep bringing you skills, keep bringing you my adventures. I have one big adventure coming up uh, in a couple of months time. I'm going to start hinting to that. I pick some, we, we pick something up, I shouldn't say I, we pick something up on March 3rd um, to do with it and I will, I'll be showing you around that as soon as I get it. So yeah, keep an eye out on this channel. But anyway, as you can see, I'm losing light. I'm going to finish off this fire now get this tarp down and get out of here, get home and have a chilled out night. So this is Nick from Raw Skills Bushcraft Live Adventures and Duncan, very tired Duncan behind me. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much for watching my videos and liking my videos and even and even disliking my videos, whatever. Um, I know the battening was always a good subject to bring up. I like, I like, I like controversial subjects, it's great. Uh, yeah, keep watching and uh, really appreciate everything you do for it for my channel and uh well just hope just sharing it at the moment and uh hopefully get some patreons fingers crossed so 
thank you guys and girls and ladies and lasses and all the best enjoy the woods out there stay safe